Hello and welcome to the stream. We're playing Mass Word today, and if you are joining us for the first time, we'll do a quick overview of the rules. But first, I want to introduce our wonderful guests for for the day. Here we go. We've got Bez and Eric. Yay! Hey! <laughs> Hi, we did it. Yes. Hmm. So, uh, if you could both introduce yourselves int uh, and tell the our uh, our viewers who you are and what you do, it'd be great to hear from you. Bez, why don't you go first? Okay, sure. Um, so, I am a game designer best known for Yogi, and I've done the L deck, which is allows you to play many other word games, um, and Kitty Cataclysm, and one of my forthcoming things is a game with a ridiculous title that I don't even have time to tell you. Um, now, I also do a bit of streaming, I stream every day at 10am UK time, and yeah, I do a bit of development, consultation, and I do self-publishing, but I'm going to stop that, so that's me. Alright, and Eric? Uh, yeah, my name is Eric Yurko. Um, I do a lot of review and photography work for my website, What's Eric Playing? And uh, I serve on the American Tabletop Awards Committee. So, uh, writing about games, taking photos of games, and occasionally uh, even playing them, which has been really exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's partly why Eric is coming on the show, just so that he can play a game. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've heard that the whole board gaming thing is really taking off, and I'd love to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why don't we jump into our first game and see how y'all do. Can't wait to lose. <laughs> All right, so for those Just of you... Just so we're clear, I'm dragging us down. <laughs> I don't know. I I looked through the rules. I kind of got a sense of what we're doing, but fingers crossed we'll be okay. So <laughs> we'll see. here's how you play. So for those viewers who are just tuning in or just following the channel, because thank you very much for doing that, I... This is Master Word. This is a game, brand new game from uh, Scorpion Mask, same same company that did Decrypto and uh, some other really great games. So definitely check them out. But I found this game to be absolutely delightful, and I figured it would work really well in the streaming format. And so we're doing it th like this, and it works pretty well, I think. So the goal of the game is to figure out the clue word. And if you look above my head right now, you see a clue category, animal. So our, our fearless guests know that the, the word that will be in the red box below animal is an animal. It, it's not trying to trick you or anything. And this is in the box. So if you're watching here, you're getting a little bit spoiled as to the words in the box, but the box comes with uh, 300 words. So you should have plenty of content, but you know it's an animal. So both Bez and Eric are going to have to Look up uh, there. There's go through rounds. They get four clues per round that they can ask of me, and they can these can clues can be one to as many words as they'd like to, as long as it fits on the card. And the the cards are not exactly huge, so you can't write a novel, but you can have a full sentence for all intents and purposes in that in that clue. Once they've entered all four of their clues, and they will have two minutes to do this. They will then, I, I will then label that row with one, two, three, or four check marks, or even zero. And I do not specify where those check marks actually go. So it, it depends on how many of those clues correspond to the actual word. So for example, if the word were cow and they said farm animal uh, n lives in water, knows how to swim, uh, of those three, I would only put one. Maybe cows do know how to swim, but I might put them down a road to ruin if I actually put a second mark down saying, like, oh, we might be able to swim. Well, yes, they can because they have a lot of fat on them. They can kind of just float and kind of, like, dog paddle a little bit. But that's not what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to give them the straightest path to, in my opinion, what, what will get them to the correct answer. Now, at the bottom row, you see that there are three red bordered cards. And... In this game, there are seven rounds, but really the, the last round is for guessing only. But that doesn't mean that you have to wait until the seventh round to guess. In this game, you can only guess 
three times between the two people. So if you're playing, with, regardless of how many people you're playing with, you only get three guesses amongst all of you. At any point before round seven, you can say, you know what, I'm going to take one of those red cards from round seven, and I'm going to use it early. So if they're like, oh, round four, I think we're pretty confident with cow. Let's, let's write down cow in the red card and put it in round four. That's fine. So as long as the word cow is in that red card, you're good. But if they're like, well, could it be a type of cow? Well, let's write down cow and see if it's in cow. And it's not in one of those red boxes, we lose. So you want to be very careful about what words you're putting in clue boxes and make sure that your answers stick only in a red box. And the way that they say that to me is that they just say, we're using this as an answer. And then I put up a little red box for them. So. Are there any questions? So are we allowed to ask questions that are a little bit more subjective? Like if it's animal, um, could I put on mine, like Ian has cried once while thinking about this animal? Yes, absolutely. That is, okay. that is a legitimate I'm, thing. I'm just but wondering do you know Ian well personal. enough to be able to get information oh, from I that. do not. I just want to make this game personal. <laughs> yes, and, and it's perfectly yeah. valid to write the same clue twice in a single round. So if you wanted to put like, Farm animal, farm animal. That's a perfectly legitimate thing if you're thinking, oh, it might be a cow. So, and then at the end, I, I would label that the same way regardless. So it would give you further clues about what that might be. Uh, you can also put or clues within a single clue. So it could be farm animal or this. And so I would actually label oh. that a little bit further. So there's ways to kind of funnel things down to give you ideas about how to best narrow things down to get to the right answer. Uh, okay, and I think that's all the rules that we need to cover. Are there any further rules questions? No. Oh, so we are allowed to discuss this freely, yes. and then we type in our answer, and you will tell us. Okay. Indeed. And it's, it's very important that you, are, you, the guessers, are not allowed to use the internet when coming up with clues. The guide is allowed to use the internet to solve clues. And I think we lost Eric. Yeah, Eric seems to have frozen for a moment. Uh oh. But um should he said they'd be back within um one or one minute or something. Yep, so maybe we'll wait a little bit uh to, to get going back in. But I I don't think Eric was going to use the internet for the clues. I mean <laughs> frankly I'm not sure even sure how that would help. <laughs> like what are just making guesses about this thing honestly i have no idea what i'm doing i'm just going in like the first time that i tend to play a game i'm just like okay i want to make sure that i'm playing it correctly in terms of the rules i don't want to unintentionally cheat but in terms of strategy just like do whatever and poke around and see what happens mm -hmm. that's my basic approach to games yes and if you are interested in seeing more of this content i have recorded quite a few episodes uh, in previous uh, and they're highlighted in my Twitch channel, and they're also going up on my YouTube channel as we speak. I think one is up today, actually. So if you look at the YouTube slash Zangzabar, same thing as the, the channel here, you'll find links to all of the previous videos that I have done on Twitch. I stream every day, just like Bez. And no, it, you stream every weekday. I, I Every weekday, correct. Every weekday. Um, it's, it's been a way for me to... Um, <laughs> not I uh, actually have like an anchor point because uh, currently I am I, I do not have a full time job I, I except for running gravitation games which is my my company but right now we're kind of in a holding pattern so there's not much to do <laughs> um, so I'm I'm keeping myself anchored like oh today is Friday ha by doing streaming every day so uh, currently we're waiting for Eric to come back it seems like his computer crashed. But we'll get right back to it when he returns. Oh, and it looks like he might be back. Oh, as promised. There we go. He's back. Yes, as it's promised. Eric! One catastrophic system error. Okay. Which is weird, because I do all my own recording through Skype as well. And I've never... Eh, whatever. You know how I do. It looked like you touched your computer on the right there, your monitor, and it just, like, died. The worst thing is, this is just a whiteboard. <laughs> I was just trying to reposition the whiteboard so I could, like, take notes during the game. I've just got some bits of paper. I mean, I know it's not... I mean, is it more wasteful to use paper than a whiteboard? I mean, maybe, because there's... 
Oh, I just have the whiteboard already for work. So it just happened to be here. All right. Why don't we get into round one and see how we do? So starting okay. in three, two, one, go. Okay, so the word's animal. So how are we feeling here? I'm thinking what's or dwelling. What, okay. Are you happy? I was I was gonna go for quadruped myself, so or four legged I guess. So I'm fine with whatever. Do you want to do like water dwelling and mammal maybe? Sure. Um, shall I just type in quadruped? Um, you can. I feel like mammal and quadruped are similar enough that if we get two, I feel like I'll feel pretty good about that. And then should uh, we maybe like throw one of them? Um. Ooh, maybe tentacles? Ooh, okay. Uh, well, okay, the one question I have is that if we get two, though, it could be a water-dwelling tentacled thing or a quadruped mammal. So should we should we tilt so we can get three Ooh, or one? Ooh, so something, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. um... It's so like fur? Let's go with fur, sure. Okay, um, as fur. I mean... Wait, we've got some minutes. Yeah, let's go. Let's get stuck in there and see what happens. Okay. Okay. All let's right. just, let's just, yeah, let's get dangerous. There we go. And with Boom. 45 seconds on the clock, you have all four of your clues done. So congratulations. That was really well done. So uh, in this first round, I now have to determine how many of these clues apply to the animal that I have currently in front of me. And I'm going to give you uh, zero. <sighs> Yeah, nice. So none of these apply in this regard. So uh, this is actually a really good clue. Like hitting a zero is actually pretty nice because it, hitting one is tough because then you know that only one of them is correct. So it, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So with zero, you know that none of these are true. Okay, so it's probably some kind of weird bird. All right. Well, it could be land dwelling. I mean, so right, but again, if it's we're, we're going oh. to start the second oh. round. You can have all this discussion in the second round, but we do need to hit go. So um, in three, two, one, go. So round two begins. Okay. My hot take is only bird, just because if we have quadruped, mammal, and fur, it means it can't have any of those things. So it has to be at least two-legged. Well, it could be three-legged, I guess. I don't. I'm not. I'm not here. I'm not here to pass judgments. But um, it's not a mammal of any kind, so that eliminates a lot of things. And it has no fur. Okay, so we're thinking lives in tree, bird, um, feathers. Maybe do we want to go all out on like birdy things? Um. Okay. I, I would say at least at least bird. I'm here for. Um. Because I mean, if it's not water, it's either land or. Or air, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm fine with... Uh, yeah, because I would say tree-dwelling is probably still land-y. Um, okay, so let's go bird. I mean, it could be a bat. It could be, like, you know, something that hangs in a cave, something Some like that. Some kind of bug, yeah. Mm, they, oh, yeah, yeah. You have one minute. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's do bird. Because if it's not... If it doesn't have fur, then it's not a marsupial, right? Hmm. So that knocks out a lot of stuff. Um, okay. Let's do. Um, How about size? Something to do with size, like um, bigger than a bread box, or bigger than a bread box. Sorry, bigger. my twenty questions instinct is always bigger than a bread box, even though I only have a rough idea of what a bread box How is. How about smaller than Bez's head? Fine with that. That works. Um, let's see here. Um, tree dwelling. Yeah. Um, what about commonly eaten? Okay, let's go with that because we've, um, well, we've got ten seconds to think. I I'm happy with commonly eaten. Yeah. All right, By people. I guess. And okay. with three there. seconds on the clock. <laughs> you got your last clue in. So, again, round two is uh, slightly a little bit more. Uh, intense here so let's see here uh oh and eric again this is something that i can i uh, ask questions about so if i need to clarify like commonly eaten uh, i might say are you do you mean by people i would i would say so in okay. this case yeah, yeah by humans otherwise otherwise most things are commonly eaten <laughs> right so i just i that's something that i can clarify mm -hmm. i i can ask clarifying questions about certain <laughs> questions if i if i have them all right so hmm 
if it's a bird, the next question that we should ask is, is it in wingspan? <laughs> oh no, I don't know wingspan well enough for that. I yeah, and I, know that, it's, to be I, honest, I know that it's not a penguin shakes fist. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going to give you, uh, in round two, I'm going to give you three. Ooh. Okay, that's useful. So that's you useful. Did, this was a, like, you narrowed things down significantly this round, so I, I'm very impressed. So Funnel strat. I, okay. This is, this is really great. So I'm going to start round three, and you can begin in three, two, one, go. Okay, so that means that the the possible pivot point is that it might be larger than your head. Or it might be something that we don't tend to eat. Right. So it's probably one of those two is what I would assume. Hmm, yeah. Um It's also possible that it's not tree dwelling. Oh, I'm sorry. Like... I, I am I have I'm giving you two. I'm sorry. Oh giving us two. I'm giving you two. I I, okay. I mis misread something. We've been robbed. Yep, guys. sorry. I'm giving you two. Man. Ian has come into our home and taken our furniture. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll yeah. dwell on this. I'll dwell on this after the Stolen night. our hearts. Sorry. This betrayal cannot stand. Um, okay, so let's see here. Do we wanna try um Ooh man. Maybe something like Do we want to think about maybe what it isn't? Um like Oh, parts of the world. Or... I was going to suggest parts of the world. Actually, I was going to say like commonly found in Australia, commonly found in North America. Because I think about like commonly found in like tundra zones. Because the then that knocks seconds. out things. Five that knocks out things like penguin, ostrich, like. Okay. Um. So actually, should we just go North a, America. You know, uh, should we ask if it's flightless? North American. Flightsless, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that knocks out a lot of birds. Um, do we want to Ooh. do North American or flightless again? Oh, 20, that... 20 seconds. Uh, double down on flightless, maybe? Sure, and then maybe feathers, which we definitely know will... Or are should, we just... Should activate. Yeah, it yeah. should act. Five seconds. So we should get. Yeah, feathers is good. Let's do that. All right. Burn. Now we can discuss Ian's betrayal at length because we're off the clock. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so disappointed. A like, scoundrel. Okay, I, I need to. I need to actually pay attention right now. Ian okay, so it's a traitor. <laughs> I mean, um, it's just the way that this game, you know, sometimes. It's always, the, it's always the so, ones you... So, talk. North American, does that mean it no, can be found? Ian, the thing is, we've paid Ian such a high wage for this. Right. They're being paid so much. And right. so... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All my um, one cent of ad revenue. <laughs> yeah. it's, all, it's all that... It's all that... It's all the gold doubloons that we get from big cardboard. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you were absolutely. saying about North American? So, I, I have a question about North American. Uh, does this just mean lives in North America? I would say is most commonly found or well, known like, for being in North America. It is kind of in North America, like, is known... I would say, like, you know, crow... There's no reason that crow should be more common in North America than Europe. Right. I, but something that is North American. Like the bald eagle. Okay, so... But that's uh, kind of stereotypically <laughs> US thing. Like, okay, I was thinking absolutely. even like a pigeon... You would yeah. still call that North American. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna give you four. <sighs> oh and, my gosh. Um I'm I'm so once per game I can use a joker. And the joker basically says I can move one of the check marks on the right column on the on the right side, and I can move it directly to the thing that I think will help you the most. So it'll it actually solidifies this is what I want you to focus on. And so I'm actually going to reveal my my Joker, and I I'm just gonna let you see where I put it because it's this might help you significantly. Okay. How many times can you do this? Did you once, say four? Just once, once per game. Once, once. Only okay. once. <sighs> commonly eaten. It eat. is commonly eaten. So I think I suspect it's a. Oh. All right, we should, should wait for time to start. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. I, I think okay. I got it. I thank, think I got it. Thank you for enforcing the rules, thinking. Eric. I am going to start the clock for round four right now. Do you want to say it on three? Like three, two, three. one, two, yeah. three. one, one. Chicken? Turkey. Oh, fair enough. We're in the same part ballpark. 
Are chickens flightless? I never know. Yeah, they are. Um, we could, like, I'm fine guessing both, because both are fine. I mean, they're kind of flightless. Like, I think wild turkeys or chickens might be able to fly, but domesticated ones can't really. Okay, um, we could, we could just make both of them our answer. We get two answers, right? You get three uh, answers. We get three. Yeah, so, so, yeah, we get at least two, rather. Yeah, so would we just type it with an exclamation mark or something? Yeah, you just let me know yeah. wh which one you want to be an answer. Shall we do both of those? I All think right. both of them's fine. Okay. So we're thinking chicken, turkey, and just in case it isn't that, like, then do we'll we be guess, able to... Do we guess two more things, Ian, or do we guess four for this round? You guess two more things. Okay. Um... Honestly, I'm not that familiar with other flightless birds. Um, um, maybe we guess um, other locations. Maybe Europe. Like, see if it's in Europe as well. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Although, Let's try it. I was gonna say Australia is the first place I think of of other flightless birds, right? Like kiwi or ostrich. But yeah, I mean. We know it's definitely in North America, though. Right, and I don't think of I don't think of kiwi or ostrich as being North America, North American as much. Um, I don't I mean, know. Let's just... I'm feeling pretty confident feel pretty about good. this. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, is there any other flightless bird that's um... ten seconds? Um, let's just put let's just put uh, Ian doesn't Ian thinks is ugly. I just want to see what his opinion is on this on these birds. Like Ian thinks okay. it's an ugly bird. Yeah, sounds good. Right. All right, and just under the wire here again. Um, oh. <laughs> Ian, this is ugly. Thanks. I can't type. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so I am. So <laughs> here's the thing. If you're right, it will appear above my head right now, and it's not going to. <laughs> Uh, okay, so neither of those guesses were correct. Okay. My gosh! Okay, but oh. but what this means is now those both become clues. They're, they're not just wasted. So if you're close with one of them, or if I want you to kind of go towards one of them, I might actually give you a check mark for that. Or I might not, <laughs> if mm -hmm. I think it's, it's way off base. So uh, in this round, I am going to give you two. I'm gonna give you two check marks. Unfortunately. Okay. Hmm. Struggling now. Yeah, I was gonna say. Now I can't think of any. Oh. Flightless. That's North. It's definitely North American. North American flightless. Yeah, you put those check marks in the yeah, wrong place. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, I'm fixing it. I saw it. Okay. Some sort of feathery jerk. Hmm. Uh, and we don't know what those two okay. check marks. Round starting now. Yeah, because the only thing I could think of is Big Bird, but I don't think Big Bird is commonly eaten. Or at least not in any of the Sesame it's... Street I've seen. <laughs> oh my god, that would be such a horror film. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Um, Let's see here, okay. Birds, birds, birds. I mean, ostrich or penguin, but those aren't North American. No, at least not commonly associated with it, no. Um, and Total. commonly eaten is the other thing, right? It's like we're talking poultry mm. of some kind, right? I also, I mostly only think of like, like, is quail a possible? Are quail flightless? I don't uh, know. Like, there, that's definitely a thing. Quail is a type of bird. Mm -hmm. Um, let's let's put down, let's put down. Eggs are eggs. But once we once we make our third guess, if We're, our third yeah. guess is wrong, that's us. Well, oh yeah, we, we we got we got two more full rounds to try and narrow this down. So I think we should like invest in narrowing. So I was gonna say have under a minute, by the way. Okay, eggs are commonly eaten. Ooh. Um, um, like, um. Cooked, cooked for holidays. I'm gonna start typing clues because we're running out of time. Yeah. Eggs. Holidays. Eaten. Um. Um. Brownish. 
There are plenty so, of brown, brownish birds. It's oh, definitely city birds. It's de so, wait, wait, we know it's bigger than my head, so we know it's quite big. Maybe we should say bigger than Bez. Oh, sure. Or... It's too bigger than Bez. And then I'll add city dwelling. Just to try and get that one knocked out. I don't think city dwelling is going to help, but it gives us a, like, possible no area. And right under the wire, you've got all four clues in. All right, I need to ask some clarifying questions about these. So, number one, city dwelling. What does this mean? Um, you know how, like, pigeons are common found, commonly found in cities? Mm -hmm. Like, that sort of that sort of thing. Okay. Does it have, does it's it something have that that's here? primarily in city. Okay. Right, like, no. Big Bird lives on Sesame Street. It's flightless, it's larger than Bez, and I think it's commonly eaten. <laughs> no, it's not. I... I Okay, I, in this Scary. case, I'm, uh, so, for this In round, our horror adaptation of, um, Sesame Seeds on uh, Sesame Street. I am yeah. going to give you zero for this round. Ooh, okay. Okay, so that knocks out, that knocks out Quail, I think. Wait, so after round, rules question, after round six, do we get... We get one guess. <laughs> we do get... Well, we get two minutes for it. Yes, you get two minutes for that one guess. Cool. Okay, so round six, let's jump right in. Two minutes on the clock, starting now. So it's bigger than this, but smaller than me. I mean, that's... Yeah. Uh, I don't got, I just don't got a lot of flightless birds in my brain right now. I mean, the North American, that's the bit that's messing with my head, because if it... It's definitely North American, we know that. I mean... It's not oh. a goose, not a duck. I'm just trying to think of other birds we eat. Ooh, I, think, it, I, I just don't have Ian's exotic it, palette. I mean, if it, if it's a swan, then, like, you know, that's wrong. Because, you know, swans definitely fly. Right. Although swans aren't commonly eaten, but, like, yeah, duck and goose, they fly. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see here. Partridge? No. I mean, would Ian be thinking... I'm kind of wild that I just can't think of it. This is going to be really fun when he reveals it, but I'm just like, ah, oh, man, I'm wild in here. I do not know. We're also at about a minute, I assume. Yeah, you are at yeah. exactly a minute. Oh, my sense of time is impeccable. Oh, um, so stressful. Review the previous rounds. That's what I'm doing. So it's not in the water. It has two legs. It's not a mammal. It's a bird. It doesn't have fur. Yep, of course. It's a bird. I think we are fairly clear on that, and it's commonly eaten. Because it's got feathers, it doesn't fly, and it's North American. What if uh, it's like a... What if it... I don't think it's a rooster. Wait, wait, what... Is there anything that's not a bird that has feathers? 26 seconds. Dinosaurs, I guess, but... Um... Yeah, I'm not... No, let's put Let's put down... Uh, I'm going to put down farm dwelling. And, um... I'm going to put down usually white... Um, um, famously depicted in a movie. Has a beak, just to have something there, I guess. Yep. That's fine. Just so I can have some um, okay. false sense that I'm contributing somehow. <laughs> so, they did get it under the wire. I know the timer ran out, but it was, it was under the wire. All right, so... <sighs> I mean, what birds have been famously depicted in the movie, even? Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just using that to stall. Okay, I'm giving two. Two. <sighs> okay, so it's probably that it has a beak. Okay, well, we probably getting... should have doubled up on one of these. Oh yeah, we should have. Whoops. We should have doubled up on beak. Okay, so should... now, now you have two minutes to discuss what your last guess will be. I feel like we should have now. one of the things we didn't know, but... Mm, yeah, we should okay. have funneled a little bit better. Okay. Um, well, this is a hindsight. practice game, then. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Ah. Oh, for... Oh, for goodness sakes. Did you get... Do you get it? Did you have it? No. I'm just frustrated. I have no idea. I'm just like, what is this? Re review it's the last crazy. clues. Where are the check marks? Where aren't the check marks? It's not in the holidays. 
Is it is it possible you're supposed to dig in deeper on chicken? It might be like rooster. Ooh. Do you think it might Cause... be? Do you think it might be what? I was going to, yeah, like it could be rooster. It could be hen. Hen. Hmm. I. No, but I, the eggs I don't think so because eggs aren't commonly eaten. But it's a mm. bird whose eggs we... It's, it's a bird that we eat... I, I assume it's a bird that we eat commonly. doesn't dwell in trees. And that would hit farm dwelling. The problem is roosters are usually white, aren't they? Uh, quite often, yeah. I think yeah, so. Yeah, and so that would, not, that would not be valid for that. Um, it's going to be some like, really obvious bird. Oh, man. You have 30 seconds to come up with one answer. Oh. Hey, bro. Uh, mm. uh, just. This is like. Now all the world can see our stupidity. <laughs> 15 seconds. <laughs> to be fair, I don't like birds and it's known, so this is fine with me. I've accepted it. Um. I think we just gotta we just gotta go all in. Let's just make our final answer rooster so that we at least can go out go out with pride that we guessed something. Two seconds. Yeah, sure. Rooster. Got it. Alright. Wow, that was that was a that was a heck of a round. You used every single second of pretty much every single round except for like round one. Round one you like banged it out of the park and then it was like why are Progressively wire, wire. worse from there. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So again, regardless of what happens, the answer will appear above my head. I uh, it'll be right here in the red box. And let's see what it is. Oh hey! Yeah, <laughs> we did it. You yes, oh, nice got work, it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was amazing. Woo! Oh, wow. And now Woo! everyone Dip. knows the stream delay, too. <laughs> it's about a, about a seven-second stream delay. Oh, my yeah, gosh. That's, like that's what I've been budgeting for. That feels, like, surprisingly hard. You know what I mean? You, you got it in right under the wire there. It was, so let's, let's run through my thinking in this, because from my end, it was frustrating, because it was, um, by round three, you were starting to go into the wrong direction. And so I needed, I knew I needed to get you back to like commonly eaten. It's a chicken, but not a chicken. <laughs> and so you, I, I put the Joker on commonly eaten to get you to chicken. And I knew you were probably going to guess chicken, but I also didn't think you would also guess turkey. Uh, so, right. uh, but I was hoping that like, oh, I can be like, oh, it's yeah, chicken. Okay. Let's, let's try to go more into the chicken. And, oh, maybe it's a chicken, but it's a male chicken. I'm like, ah. And no, ch roosters are not always white. <laughs> they are actually quite commonly colored in very, very pretty colors. Uh, I, have, so. I have maybe seen one rooster in my okay. life. <laughs> <laughs> the things we learn about Eric Gierka. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I think most of mine is running off of, like, different cartoons that I grew up watching that would show, like, a rooster in the morning. <laughs> kind of blue and yellow and green. Oh yeah, 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 the weather vane ones. Yeah, yes. I see what you're saying. Okay, qu question, question for us and, and like for both us, the country, and God. Did you give a thumbs up for Ian thinks it's ugly? No, I, I said Europe because it's also in Europe. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to assume that that's accurate. What do you think, chat? You decide. I, I mean, mm. it's. Up I mean, to me roosters. Anyway. I, it, I get to decide. Does so. does Ian secretly hate roosters? That is. Like, un unreasonably aggressive on your part, Eric. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. That's for the, that's for the betrayal. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. All right, everyone. We're going to take a quick break while I reset the board. And uh, everyone can go get a glass of water, stay hydrated, use the restroom. We'll be back in about four minutes. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. <laughs> 